Hello everybody, it's Christine, time for a scrapbook process video. And this video is for um, the Counterfeit Kit Challenge blog. And what our, um, what our, what's the thing? Theme is, I guess, or whatever, is we're doing 12 days of sketches. So yesterday on our Facebook group, I would have shared a sketch that I designed. And so today I'm making a layout from that sketch. So this sketch is what I come up with. Let's see if I can get you guys to see it. Now, if I'm 100% honest, I was initially inspired by um, like trees, like Christmas trees. And so I had put some triangles just kind of on there just to think about. And then I turned them sideways. So I ended up with it like this, right? And then I had some torn paper stuff because I just like torn paper. And I figured three pictures. Three pictures is a good, um, just kind of basic, you know, set in quantity. So you can either turn it into one, you can turn it into two, however you want to do it. I'm going to go ahead and go at three. I had a big old title. Um, I'm imagining, this is kind of my little watermark here, but I'm imagining possibly either a script across the title or maybe even under or something like that and three little embellishment clusters. That's kind of what I started with, or that's my sketch that I made, y'all. So I'd love to see other people's designs from this. Um, that could be fun. However, I started out with them trees and I thought to myself, I'll use, tr I'll use triangles, but then I was trying to kill out my last of my hip kit, um, June, 2023. And I was like, Holy cow, now it was like this, technically like, oops, so sorry, you guys, like this, but I was like, holy cow, I can cut those di those zigzags out of this paper here, so that is what I'm going to do, you guys, <laughs> and interestingly enough, I promise you guys I did not do this intentionally. I had already designed the sketch before I started cleaning out this kit. It had this piece here, and it's got ink on it, but I'm going to cover it up, um, but it had like this, like, swatch here, so I'm thinking in my head, it can be kind of like this white piece behind the darker piece. And then this was the only other sheet I had left. And I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is um, use this instead of like a blue, which is fine. And the reason is some of that is because I have these arches in these pictures. These are pictures from you guys, this cat is from Union Station. We went to Christmas in 2022. Is that right? It's DC, sorry, her tail. Um, and I just love these arches. In fact, I almost thought about turning it up and down, but I can't do that because it's not long enough. So it's gonna be side to side. So anyway, these are the pictures I'm working with. And then I have these ginormous letters, y'all. I'm really excited about this because my title was kind of large. This is going to be even larger, I think, if I'm honest. But I think I can use this to spell out Union. And then I may do Station underneath in a... I would say what kind of font. I have some scripty fonts. I have a pink scripty font. That might work. I'll have to pull that out. I have no embellishments at this point except one last sheet of paper that had this uh, collection had these tickets. And so I'll probably cut a bunch of these tickets out and use those as some of my embellishments there. So that's what I'm working with, you guys. Um, if I can get the cat out of the way, I will work on this layout. <laughs> See you soon. Okay, you guys. I've cut out my little zigzag here, and I'm going to glue it down on um, my little base paper there that I showed you guys. Again, this is so crazy. I designed that sketch, and I mentioned this in the intro, without ever looking at this kit. Like, this was not in my head. I actually had in my head I was going to cut triangles, to be frank with you, to build my page. And then I was trying to kill my last, this is June, 2023. And I'm like, I need to kill this kit. And I look and I go, holy cow, this got uh, zigzags on it. <laughs> so um, I was so pleased. So I glued those down. I've kind of made it easy on myself. So this layout actually doesn't take that long. Um, this little paper here is the one I mentioned with little arches and it's taking the place of that navy blue color on the sketch. And I'm gonna just kind of curl these up and then I will take my photos. I have, uh, yeah, I've already mounted my photos on some white cardstock. And I'm going to decide to put those on foam. I don't remember now, you guys, if I mentioned that to you in the intro, but I for sure want to do that. And so I'm going to just kind of organize these in the way that I think they look like, I don't know, like we're, our faces are kind of pointing inward and the tree seems to be kind of a, you know, nice focal point. And then Union Station on the right hand side, that little sign is um, on the left side of the photo. So it kind of made some sense to me. So I'm going to cut away, I think, no, maybe I don't. I was going to cut away in just a second, but maybe I don't because I'm just putting foam on the photos at the moment and then I'm going to glue them down. And then what I had also done, I think I showed you guys that ticket paper. I've already cut all the tickets out. I went ahead and fussy cut those and I've scuffed the edges of all of them. I've got them in a little baggie because I'm going to use them possibly in the future. I think I'm going to have a little project where I take all my hip kit stuff and organize it kind of by colorway or something. So... I can kind of pick and choose. I need to get like a little binder or something or something. I got to think of some kind of way to organize it because I kind of want to use it. And I have to thumb through things over and over and over again, which when you do something like that, that's just not efficient. So 
Now, here's why I'm getting into my big letters here, and I was so excited, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I was like, holy cow, I can use these big old letters, and I can spell out what I need to. Um, and then I'm going to do something I've actually never done before in a moment. Now, these are actually chipboard letters, right? So, these are dimensional. Um, they're kind of a rose gold color. I don't know if you can tell on the film here, but it's it's definitely kind of a rose gold, not just a regular gold. At least, I don't think so. I think it's a rose gold. That's what I saw. And I'm going to pull out this little cursive font in a minute. But now I'm going to go ahead and gather my tickets here. And I'm putting these where the stars were, obviously. So I feel a little guilty because I designed this sketch. And then I kind of went rogue on my own sketch. <laughs> but I guess that's okay, right? That's okay. So I'm going to use these tickets where the stars were. And I'm just kind of creating little, you know, places. Now what I'm going to end up doing is um, I'll end up using some Nuvo glue. And I'll show you a little bit of that. But I'll use some Nuvo glue toward the bottom of the tickets, but then I will put a little bit of foam tape up the, up the tops of them so it creates a little dimension. So I'm just building these little kind of, like the bottom one had, I think, four or five tickets. The, the other two had just three tickets. And so I've got that going on. But like I said, I actually don't do too much this, y'all. And it's not intentional. I just decided that I liked it the way it was. So um, I wasn't really trying to be lazy, but I just go, no, I think this looks cool as crap the way it is. So here's my little scripty font. And I'm going to put this on top, y'all, of these little chipboard letters. And it's a little trick because I am going to have to come in with some T90. I have some micro foam squares. And on two of my little letters, I will have to add some. So that is tricky. I do it off camera, though, because it takes me a minute. Like that A right there as an example, it's kind of hanging off, right? So I'm going to have to put some there. And I think on my... O oh, maybe it is on the station. It's T I O N. The I's okay, but the O I'm gonna end up having to put a little tiny, tiny square um, to just keep it where it's supposed to be. But I thought this looked kind of neat because on my sketch, you know, I had put my little watermark deal across the bottom of the title, and I thought, well, this looks kind of like that. So I was kind of proud of myself for thinking of this. It would obviously be a lot easier if I didn't have dimensional big letters, but. I have what I have, and I think this looks neat anyways. So then I go ahead, and I, this is the very end of me putting a little bit of foam tape underneath the tops of the tickets. Um, like I said, I used a little Nuvo glue to glue the bottoms down. I've already done that bottom right corner, and I may have already done the one next to the title. I'm not even certain. I don't really keep too much, because it's all the same process, right? I'm just gluing down the bottoms and then putting the foam tape under the top piece of the, of the um of the ticket, um, and it takes me just a moment. Of course, I get it stuck to my fingernails about eight times and, you know, all kinds of stuff. I did have a little bit of glue on the letters. I don't know if I kind of mess with it on camera or not, but I will take like a little paper towel or something, and I'll kind of make sure my little shiny, my little union is shiny and, and bright before I put it back in, put it in the album. Um, I don't actually really add journaling because I kind of said Union Station, which obviously that was actually in the picture on the right-hand side too. And you can see the Christmas tree. I might could add the year at some point, but I think this is going to go on an album with all the other stuff, so it doesn't really matter. Now, Mr. Oreo has decided to take a bath, y'all. So I apologize. He's going to sit there and bathe, and this is his bathroom right now. But I decided to put this little... I went into my hip kit stuff, and I did find this uh, little piece of... This little phrase here that says Winter Memories. So technically, that was not on the sketch, but I thought it added a little something. Y'all, this cat, I swear, <laughs> these cats, they're so sweet, but they're so invasive. <laughs> like, they're very, very much like, I'm going to be in your space whether you want me there or not. But by golly, don't come in my space when I don't want you there, they said. Um, anyway, so I'm going to put this little phrase here. And then I pulled out these little jewels here. If I'm 100% honest with you guys, I did not realize it was in a string. Um, I thought it was all individuals, which I don't know why I thought that. But I pull it off and I go, oh, shoot, that's actually in a string. But then that being said, it was kind of easier for me because I tend to have issues with, I'm just clumsy and I can't hardly get them off the sheets without flicking them all over the place. So the string actually was a little bit easier to work with. And they're just these little faceted crystals things. I don't know if they're really crystal. They're probably not really crystal, obviously. They're just plastic, but they're just kind of shiny. And to me, they represented kind of the little, either the ornaments on the tree or just, you know, ice and snow and stuff. It was, we really, I don't remember there being any snow, to be honest with you, but it was definitely ice because it was very, very cold, y'all. Um, at least in my mind, my Texas blood could barely handle that DC weather up there. It was very cold. There was, and we walked everywhere, y'all. We didn't get a car or nothing. We only took an Uber basically from the hotel over to the, because it was across the river over to the like monuments and things like that. So we walked everywhere else, y'all. I think we had 30,000 steps each day. It was crazy. So I'm just going to put these little jewels everywhere. And that is basically all I'm going to do. Um, it was actually not a very complicated layout. I hope you guys enjoy this sketch. Make sure you do post if you do this sketch. Go into the group, the Facebook group. 
um, counterfeit ch kit challenge Facebook group and make sure you add your interpretation. I would love to see them. And thank you guys so much. And we'll have another sketch tomorrow, I believe. And then they'll share their layout the day after that. So we will see you guys next time and have a wonderful day. Bye.